This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Bright and early in this absolute jungle of a garden of mine. You wait like a few weeks without mowing here and it just goes... It feels a bit strange being up this early for a regional, especially when the regional is only in Northampton, somewhere that we travel to every single week. Normally we're there. I mean, we leave here a lot later than this, although I guess that the regional probably starts a little bit earlier because they have to have registration, all those kind of things. You don't have for locals. Uh, we're not expecting much today. Uh, we are playing... Uh, we're playing Light Swarm. More specifically, we're playing a version that the aim is basically just try and get to... Judgment Dragon and hope my opponent doesn't have a hand trap to stop it. Um, we got to this conclusion because we couldn't be bothered to play invoked anymore. I was fed up of it. And I don't really have a stake in any of the decks that are coming out or are out currently um, that I particularly want to play at this stage. So that may change, of course, over time. Um, in the interim, though, I thought, yeah, fuck it, let's have some fun. There was originally some other spicy decks lined up for today and um, potentially for next weekend at Liverpool, but I'm waiting to see and make those decisions as they come up. But for today, we're just going to have some fun. I don't care if I lose every round. Really don't care. Uh, literally, the point is, go in, have some fun, play at the bottom tables, uh, and then drop whenever we feel like it, and probably just go help the lads who are vending today, uh, Jam Jam Card UK team, those boys. Um... Yeah, and just have some fun with it. So I thought, you know what, I haven't played Light Sworn since, well, basically since I came back to the game in 2017. So it'd be really, really cool to bust it out for another regional, even if it's absolutely horrific. So again, as always, we're waiting for Jam to come pick us up. Uh, we're picking up a couple of the other guys as well today. Uh, I think we're getting JY and Jamie on the way in, so that'd be cool to see them. Uh, hopefully get some breakfast on the way because I'm dying. Uh, yeah, and then... Let's go scrub out of our, our regional just around the corner from us. So tell us the story you were saying. No, no, no. <laughs> As discussed today, we are at Geek Retreat in Northampton. Uh, we're all registered up, everything in decklist put together. Thank God, because we're sweating a little bit on some of the uh, important cards for this absolute spice we're playing today. No, really, it's a fucking mess. Uh, it looks like a fairly competitive room today as well, so uh, that should be interesting. Always good, of course, to see faces, the ones that we haven't seen in a little while, uh, that we only ever get to see really at regionals, which is quite nice. So just waiting for everything to fire up, a little bit cramped, so... I think we may run over a little bit in terms of time, but yeah, we're just kind of kicking about, waiting for things to start. We were prepped ahead of time, so all good. So I'll probably see you after round one. <laughs> <laughs> so round one is down, and by some weird divine measure, we managed to get a win. I'll be playing against Flunder. I think, to be honest with you, his hands aren't great, but we see sufficiently enough. Uh, even with just half baked hands to somehow get a win. Obviously expecting to get waxed, but here we are, round one win with JD Turbo. What a fucking world. So we are round two down. Unfortunately, no, why no? Uh, we lose to Despia, game one. Uh, he sets up his board, I bang down mine, ask him how many cards he has, less than me. We're feeling good. Then he starts digging, so we know he's playing it out. He wasn't playing the Brave stuff, so we weren't sure what it was. We assumed, obviously, Cosmic. Um, at that point, it's like, okay, accumulate resources. Uh, get to the point where we can just OTK him. Uh, we passed for about 20 turns or something stupid. Um, he had, like, seven or eight cards when he left in his deck. I saw the Cosmic before I could see either another JD, a normal summon, or a Duster. If I see any of those, I can clear the board and attack the game. So a bit unfortunate. We lose that game one, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, and then game two, we basically make Buguska because we can't do anything else. And uh, into his ball, we bait a load of stuff and make Buguska. And then he super polys it off his thing and then just kills me. So it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, we lose to um, Branded, which 
somewhat expected. We did better than I thought we would. Lasted ahead of a lot longer than I thought we would. Uh, so we're X1 after round two. So hopefully, better luck at the next one. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't wait for the B-roll. I was too hungry. Here, look at his lunch instead. Cheeky apple. Another round down. Uh, this time we draw. We draw to Ignista. Um, nipped it right at the end. Enough damage to basically get the draw. So quite a narrow one in the end there. A uh, good fun game. A nice back and forth. Loads of nice to do. So yeah, really, really good in the end. Um, so we are one 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 after round three. So getting some lunch and hopefully get some more wins. So we are another round down. Uh, we play against Despier again. Unfortunately, we do not get the win. Um, we game one <clears throat> just don't see enough. In fact, it's pretty much the same. Like, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> Game on, we mine him. Uh, we unfortunately mill a wolf because it's like the only line of play we have and we don't get anywhere. And then game two, we just run out of steam. Uh, unfortunately, we only get into our mills at the end phase. And the end phase, he's a wolf, so we had a wolf and a rain, but it just wasn't enough. So, yeah, unfortunate, just playing into the bear deck, and that's what happens. But again, we're doing better than expected. We expect to basically lose every game. So, to get in a one, win in the draw is pretty good so far. All things considered, though, again, just a bit of a laugh. No big deal. And our two losses are only to Despia. So hopefully there's a little bit better in the next one. But we'll wait and see. Hey, Jamie. Explain when I zoom out instead of zooming in on your face. What's with your uh, what's what's interesting about your deck today? Uh, so like basically we don't believe in OTKs. Yeah. Because like easy wins is easy wins, and we're not about that life. So yeah. what we do is we come to the event with the threat of the OTK. Yeah. We mind game everyone else out of it so they can see to yourself. And yeah. What you do is you play update jammer, and then everyone else thinks you're going to summon transcode. And they just right? scoop. And they just scoop, right? Right. So why play transcode talk? Just play a fourteen god extra deck. Exactly. And it leaves you the extra space, and then. Because we're out here for clout, not for wins, you just don't use the space. Easy. Or... you got a flex spot really then. Yeah, you've got you're flex playing spot around the, uh, the banquet deck, right? Yeah, yeah. True. Or you can just... <laughs> they go 15, you're like, I don't have 15. You can just do the real <laughs> thing. <laughs> what easy. really happens is you can forget to write transcode talk on your deck. That's not something I would do. Not, not that you would do. Something else you can do. Also, you, the same effect. you wouldn't forget to write paro before the event either, would you? No, no. Um... I, I just didn't think of end, end of time procedures, but you know, yeah. the judges thought better of my deck. They were like, you want an option for end of match yeah, procedures. Yeah, 14 card side deck was optimal, but the judges were like, you've got yeah. to have 15 cards. <laughs> Hemen, you good? <laughs> another round down, another loss. And of course, what else would it be with Despier again? Uh, Feels like every round's gonna be Despia, which is a bit weird and a bit annoying at the same time. Playing the same goddamn decks boring. You would think playing at the worst tables would have bad decks, so you'd have a nice fun back and forth, but no, uh, just Despia, so here's what it is. Uh, another loss, so a bit boring. There we go. Uh, it didn't really go off, so nothing too exciting to write about there. I think we've still got two more rounds, hopefully we get a couple of like weird rogue matchups or something like that and just have a fun fun couple of games, but I think a lot of the people that are doing bad are dropping, so you're just going to play the few dregs that are just clinging on hoping, so we'll see what happens there. But anyway, another run down, another loss. Still only on the one win, one draw. Hopefully it gets better. Another round down. This time, we do get a win. Swift at our opponent. So much so that they never even turned up for their round. <laughs> Sorry, spider on the phone. Um, yeah, obviously we're going to win. Not much to say about it, really. Uh, we played the last three rounds of Despia. We were hoping to get something different, and then we just don't play anyone at all. So, another win. We might as well stay in. Have some fun out of the last round. Some of the lads are still in, so hopefully they remember the shout of topping it. We can get some profiles and things like that. But, yeah, we're just chilling now. Uh, no stress. The rooms are much quieter ones. So, yeah, it's just waiting and seeing. Hopefully we get a nice, fun last round to play out. So that is done, another round down. We play against Sacred Beasts. We don't win. Um, turns out a 4K body that we can't target or destroy. It's pretty difficult to out. Uh, the only real way to get to it is access code. And uh, yeah, unfortunately we just didn't see enough. Our mills were horrible, just all not great. So this is what it is, deck just didn't have enough. So uh, yeah, overall we finished on two wins in the draw. Obviously the rest of the losses is what it is. Um, 
you're not too bothered obviously but the results don't care we're here for a bit of fun so obviously it would have been nice to win more of course it would but uh, yeah good for a laugh good for phone lights one it would have been nice to have had more rogue matchups just so we could have had a bit more fun with it but unfortunately we did end up playing three rounds of despia which is pretty dreadful but there we go so yeah all done for the day uh, just waiting to see everyone pick up i think we've got a few of our lads got tops so that should be good we'll roll out and i'm sure we're gonna go get some food afterwards before we head home Jay, where, where, where did you finish, my guy? Where did you finish? Oh, Callus. About time, about time. About time, about yeah. time. Oh, we've got another star, like. <laughs> no. No, you need Billy. I've never seen someone not on the floor Standing for taking a while. Charlie Turner! Sorry, guys. Solomon getting the heel energy.